I'm on trail to Zebra Slot Canyon Trail or Zebra Slot Trail and Tunnel Trail, which is a 6.6 .6 mile out and back trail. We'll get down there and see what we come up with out here. It is BLM land, but they do have a sign back there that says no collecting, so rock hounds and that sort just can't collect and take stuff with you. Sandy. See all kinds of wildlife tracks just running everywhere. I don't know what half of them are. Probably kangaroo rats and kit foxes and maybe some mule deer. I've seen a few tracks, but I don't really know what everything is. Okay, so now trail just stops people are walking the wash now so I'm walking through and I'm kind of looking at some of the rocks that are laying around this wash I don't remember what these are called I remember reading about them at one point but I mean they're these hollow bull shape rocks like this that that are dug out and I remember seeing and reading about them at one point but I just I don't remember what they're called, but they're just scattered all over the place. I think they're really cool. I think it's kind of a neat thing to to see out here. Whew. All right, continuing on. This is really deep sand. This is hard to walk on. Each step I take, I sink in and fall back about two inches. This is pretty cool. Oh, there's water. Ice cold water. Somebody dragged a tree over here, I imagine. Threw some rocks down to make it easier. All right, going across, first obstacle. This is awesome. I'm loving this. Hey, look, this is one of those in formation. Oh, yeah, they're pockmarked all over the sides here. That's really cool.
Yeah, that gets really tight there. I'm gonna take my backpack off and see if I can squeeze through. Oh. It's really tight all the way. <sighs> so yeah, I see where all these hollow bubbles of stone are created. And I think that's exactly what they are. Some kind of bubble that formed a hollow. I honestly don't know how that stuff is formed or what it's called anymore. Yeah, the full bubble itself the full ball itself they're pretty weighty even though they're filled with sand it's a really cool place and these things are scattered everywhere it's too bad you can't collect here i wonder if they do it by permit this might be a place to come back to. So being that I'm alone out here, I don't think I want to attempt to go through and end up getting myself stuck. I don't know. I'm still deciding. <sighs> yeah, because this is pretty tight. It opens up over there, but let's see if I can squeeze through. Oh. Oh. Is really tight. Okay. Yeah, that's tight all the way. I'm just not going to risk it since I am by myself. Because if I got stuck, I'd be screwed. This is how I'm getting over the water. I'm pushing my back against the stone and going that direction, that way. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to do this with the camera and get you side. So guys, something to look at. All right. Okay, come back where my backpack is. I'd have to carry that backpack above my head and I need my arms to get through all that. This is the zebra slot. All right. So yeah, it is a real tight slot canyon coming through here. I didn't make it all the way. I don't feel safe doing it being by myself. So I'm heading back. It gets real tight before it opens back up over there. Well, it seems like I can still get to tunnel slot. Back through the wash I just came. I'm trying to look at GPS maps without any service and it still has the trail marked, at least what I can see. So I think if I go back out and down past the halfway hollow, the trail continues up to the tunnel slot canyon. So I'm going to go back and check that out and see if I can find that. But this is the zebra slot. I don't know how far it goes or if it circles around or what. It gets really tight back there and I decided just to turn back rather than risk it being out here by myself. So I'm going to eat it a little bit more and then... Get back out there and see what I can find. Ooh, that sun is bright.
I think I see the tunnel slot canyon over here. I am almost there. This has been a long hike and I still gotta go all the way back. <laughs> but it's definitely worth it. Interesting rock features, face, and all kinds of different rocks and things in the wash. I don't know if you can find any like crystals or anything like that, but you're not allowed to collect out here, unfortunately. <sighs> yeah, that's the canyon up, that's the tunnel up there. Let's get over here. That looks dark. Look at this. Ooh, that's muddy. This is so cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I wonder if there's more to it. I'm just going to come up here and see, but I don't think there is. So there you have it. Those were zebra, zebra slot tunnel and, or I'm sorry, zebra slot canyon and tunnel slot canyon. Really cool location. I'm sure, and this is in the summertime, this is a really hot and dry area. So you wanna bring a lot of water. It even suggests at the beginning to bring at least four liters. I only carry about a liter and a half with me on this hike, but uh, winter time it's not so bad. But anyway, that was it. I'm heading back. I'm gonna call it a day. This is a 6.6 .6 mile hike. I've probably added to it. So I'm probably a little over seven miles by the time I get back, which is fine, but I'm ready to call it a day. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. There's going to be a lot more videos upcoming. More of Utah's national parks and then some. So we will talk soon. Have a good one, guys.